what has it been like during your time at Oregon? Has it changed at all? Has it been pretty much the same since you've been oh, there? It's changed a lot in the last uh, four years. It started out, there was not really many options other than like the basic hamburger, hot dog, pizza, stuff like that every day. And now they've started incorporating a lot of like a salad bar, there's a soup type bar type thing, all sorts of stuff like that. You find yourself getting, you know, soup, and do you find yourself leaning toward the healthier options? Yeah, a little bit more, especially when I'm in season, uh, especially on game days too. I decide to go with something lighter and a little healthier. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning to dairy, eggs, wheat, and wheat nuts. So uh, I can't eat at my at my school cafeteria because most of the stuff they serve, you know, like hamburgers, hot dogs, pizza, can't have any of that. So I've packed lunch all my life. Usually, when I my typical lunch is uh, some deli meat from like Walmart, so the healthiest meat you get, I guess. Uh, usually, an apple and some carrots and a Gatorade or a water bottle. So that's that's my usual diet. I don't really change from that because it's it's easy, and it's healthy, and it gives me a lot of energy, but. I noticed that at my school the cafeteria had changed a lot. Uh, when I was a freshman, yeah, it wasn't really healthy. There was a lot of junk food, I guess. There's an a la carte with chips and candy and pop and stuff. And uh, I think between my sophomore and junior year, they really uh, had a stricter, I guess, meal plan for the kids. And none of the kids really liked that. So this last year, my senior year, they kind of loosened up a little bit, but they still had a lot more healthy options than, than the, the all the kind of options. So. It sounds like they offer a lot more healthy options, but they put some of the not so healthy options back in. Right, yeah. So that stuff's available too. Yeah. And usually, I mean, most, most, of the kids, most of the guys I eat with, they're in sports too, so they eat a lot of the healthy stuff, but occasionally they'll get, you know, like a Uncrustable or something like that. That's, that's good. Um, you know, you talk about the kids, you know, with, with, with pizza, and probably pizza and a couple of brownies, maybe a cookie in there too, you know, just so it's well balanced. Um, how, how do you feel about that? I mean, does, does it kind of make you wish that, that you could help them? Or, or does it make you sad for them? Or do you just look at it as, hey, you know, kid, kids are going to eat what kids are going to eat? Um, it's kind of more of a personal choice. You can have influences and people steering you in different directions, but I think you kind of, personally, I feel better when I eat more healthy and I have acid reflux so I kind of you know you balance it and if you eat something you shouldn't you know so it's kind of I think it's a personal thing mm -hmm. and you have to come to the realization of if you want to eat healthy you have to change your ways mm -hmm. and kind of sacrifice like, we don't have soda machines, we don't have vending machines, and our Gatorade machines are only turned on after school hours or during lunch. And uh, we have a big salad bar, which you get more than the actual meal. Everything's whole grain, grilled. So, I mean, <laughs> we don't really have anything bad. You only get dessert twice a week. How long has that been the case, do you know? Um, the dessert in, was this year, and then, well, my my freshman year, we got rid of vending machines, mm -hmm. and then my sophomore year, we got rid of all the pop, and only the teachers can access it, and then my junior year, we started out with the whole grains as an option, but then this year, it's just, you don't get any other choice. I mean, I recently, like the first day that I went on my new diet, I figured, you know what I'm going to do is I've heard the old saying that you eat like a king in the morning, a prince for lunch, and then like a pauper for dinner. So with a big breakfast, and you kind of work your way down from there. So I made, you know, I made eggs and potatoes uh, and, and sausage links for breakfast. And I, and I ate everything, and I had some ketchup on the potatoes, and I went to log everything into my fitness pal, and I realized that I had like 150 calories just from the ketchup that I put on my potatoes. And I was like, wow, without that, I had like a 400-calorie breakfast, perfectly acceptable. Put the ketchup on there, and 550 is still fine, but it's like, like, uh, 35, yeah, 35 percent of my breakfast was the freaking ketchup. Yeah. Well, I just, I mean, I get upset because I try to talk to people about like, hey, that's not good for you and stuff. Because a lot of people try to bring up like, oh, I need to start eating healthier and stuff, but then they're still eating all this.
pack of cookies. And I just try not, I just try to blow it off because I know that it will catch up with them in the long run. Mm -hmm. And I get that because these things don't really know what healthy food is. They think that French fries are a vegetable and stuff like that. So they don't, some things that they think are healthy really aren't. Oh, according oh. to the McDonald's ads, they are. <laughs> <laughs> They harvest the potatoes every morning. Or like when people get salads and they're like, oh, I'm eating healthy, but then they load like mm -hmm. a ton of ranch and a ton of cheese and mm -hmm. croutons and all this other stuff. And it's like, it's not healthy anymore. Oh, like at softball tournaments and stuff, like when it's all day, you're playing like back to back to back. It's hard to get like energy in you mm -hmm. because it's like, I don't have any time to eat. And then by the end of the day, you're just... You're drained. You're you have drained. nothing left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say same for you. Same thing with baseball all the time. Just last week and we played three games back to back to back in no time other than like 15 minutes in so you get like a granola bar and I, it's 7.30 at night and I'm already falling asleep for the night and I'm worn out. Um, so, you know, I don't, I can't help but look at the elephant in the room. You know, oftentimes, you know, girls are more self-conscious about, you know, wanting to be thin you know, just because of society standards, but I find it interesting that you said at Morrison, you've got guys who are skipping lunch too. Yeah, so I mean, it's, I it's mean, not a gender specific thing. Yeah, 